America. We're at the top of Cabbage Hill. Cabbage Hill, Cabbage Mountain, Cabbage Pass. I don't know, there's all kinds of different names for it. Uh, I looked it up on Wikipedia, trying to find a little bit of background information about it. They also call it Immigrant, immigrant Pass or Immigrant Hill. Um, uh, truckers always call it Cabbage. I don't know why. I've heard a couple, uh, I've heard a couple different stories about it. One is, uh, Drivers used to come out of here with, with cabbage on, and they're, they'd come up to the scale, and if the scale was open, they'd dump a bunch of cabbage out on the bottom, out on the ground, so that they'd be legal at the top of, or at the scale. I find that a little hard to believe, but you know, you're throwing product out. Um, the other, the other story I heard was, uh, it's a mountain that if you don't respect it, you'll end up tossing your cabbage if, at the bottom. <laughs> so. Uh, so. I don't know. Uh, some of you older drivers tell me uh, what what uh, where this actually where that where the word cabbage actually came from because I've heard a couple different stories and I don't know. But anyway, it's called Cabbage Pass. Um, over earlier in the mountains and everything, we're about 4,700 feet. When I started making this video, we were coming by the scale back here, which is also a, a brake check area and all that. Um, that was around 4,000 feet. We're about 3,800 right now. And if you look down here at the bottom of the hill, about right in there somewhere is a, a truck stop, Arrowhead truck stop. And they're at about 1,600 feet. So we're going from here down to right down there. We're dropping, what, 3,500 feet? So it's a serious hill. It's, it's 5 and 6% grade all the way bottom. Uh, it's curvy. And one of the bad things about it is, well, let me see if I can find it here in the screen. Right about right in there, there's a, uh, you, you, you go around this curve this mound or this protrusion of the mountains, you go around it and you're losing altitude the whole whole time. There's another, like a, a canyon back in here, you swirl around that canyon. And when you get down to about right in there, it kind of straightens out and you can see the bottom. And a lot of drivers get confident, oh, well, we're almost to the bottom. We'll go ahead and kick it into the next gear. And next thing you know, they got four or five more miles to go, I think, or something like that, three miles, something like that. And it's still really steep. It's not 6%, but it's still 4 or 5%. They get to going too fast, man, we can't get slowed down. And they end up burning their brakes up, so a lot of trucks catch fire down there at the bottom of the hill. It's a, it's a mountain you should respect. You should respect this mountain. Um, the other thing is in the winter, it is terrible with snow and ice. Uh, terrible, terrible. Uh, chain up laws all the time throughout the winter. So you don't come up here without chains. And uh, so... There you go. So anyway, I just thought I'd do a little quickie about uh, Cabbage Hill. And uh, I'm going to get to rolling again and get down to the bottom of the hill. I'm going to stop at the casino and play a little blackjack. So uh, see what happens there. <laughs> but anyway, the rest of this video is just going to be going down to the bottom of the hill and showing you how windy and how long it is, I guess. So let's go. Let's hit it. Blackjack somewhat. Let's see if we can learn something. And I watched that video and a couple more. Eventually came up to this one video. It's called the Blackjack System. And so far it's been doing pretty good for me. I can't say I'm a millionaire, but it, I've been doing decent, you know. And um, uh, hold on, good turn here. 
Anyway, it's a, a video called The Blackjack System by Al Kaufman. So you can look that up on YouTube and watch that video. I'll link it here at the bottom uh, in the descriptions. And um, it taught me a lot about not, not so much how to play blackjack, but how to bet blackjack. It's all in the betting. How do you bet? Okay. And I've seen a whole bunch of different kinds of theories on betting and everything, but this one seems to work. Now, granted, it can backfire just like any. You're gambling. It can backfire. Okay. But it has done decent with me. I, I, normally, I go in and play blackjack, and I go in and think, you know, I want a couple hours of entertainment. I'll take a hundred dollars. And that's, I'll probably lose it. And that's my cost for the entertainment. Just like if you go to a movie or Disneyland or a concert, it's a cost of entertainment. Because I enjoy playing blackjack. It's fun. I like sitting at the table and, you know, cutting up with the other players and stuff. And um, so anyway, I just looked at it as a form of entertainment and the cost of entertainment, basically. And since I learned this system, it's actually... I get you can make money. Not you got to you got to risk money to make it, but you can make it. So go back and go watch that video, and it'll explain exactly. So I don't have to go through it all here. But basically, you're tripling your your bet. Well, not tripling. You're doubling plus your original bet. So let's say a five dollar table. You bet five bucks. If you lose that, you bet you double it, making ten bucks plus another original bet. So that's 15 bucks. If you lose that, you double that, which is 60 bucks. No, uh, 15 be 15 be 30, 30 plus another five. So when you finally do win, you win on all of them. Make sense? He can explain it a lot better. So go watch his video. And basically, if you don't go more than about four or five uh, losses in a row, which how often do you do that? I mean, you, you do, but how often? Usually you sit down, you, you win one, you lose two. You win one, you lose two. You win one, you know, win, win two, you lose three, four, you know. And what you can do is go on, get, a, get an app on your phone, a, a blackjack app, and just play it on your phone and see how it works. And you might try it. Next time you go to a casino, Vegas, or whatever, it might work for you. It's been doing okay for me. Uh, my problem with it is... Once you lose about the fourth round, okay, you're going, you're, you're 5, 15, 35, 75, 150, okay, and it keeps going on up from 100, uh, 300, 600, you get the idea. Um, when I, I, I have a hard time throwing $150 down on that, 75 bugs me. So, uh, but anyway, it has been working, and, and the times that it doesn't work is when I don't hold true to the system. Uh, otherwise, I'd have won every time. Uh, I don't think I've ever went six times, you know, six losses in a row. So, if you got the guts, if you can throw, you know, $1,200 down on a bet, you know, it'll probably work, you know. Uh, and he also talks about how you go from table to table. You don't sit at one table all night. You, anyway, he'll explain it in his video. The Blackjack System by Al Kaufman. Go check it out. Al, check it out. Uh, yeah. Ciao.